This video will show you how to perform rapid group A strep testing. Wash your hands. Apply gloves. Verify that the name on the throat swab container and lab requisition form match. Perform the test according to the manufacturer's directions. This test requires several drops of both reagents in a small tube. This test also requires that the specimen tube swab be placed into the test tube solution and rotated for approximately 10 times. It then also requires for the swab to sit for one minute. Sometimes the specimen needs to go to a lab and be tested again. It is best to ensure that you place that specimen in a secure place so it can be sent out to the lab properly later on. The test strip will then be placed into the solution with the arrows pointing down. You will leave the test strip in place and start the timer according to the manufacturer's directions. After the timer goes off, you will want to read the results quickly. A pink or red line should be noted in the control area. If not present, the test is invalid and must be repeated. If a second line appears, any shade of pink or red, the test is positive for strep. The more concentrated the sample is, the darker the second line will be. This test is a little bit hard to read, but you can slightly see the control line at the top, which is meaning that the test is valid. There is not a second line underneath the control line, so this patient is negative for strep. Remove and dispose of gloves and perform hand hygiene. Document the procedure in the patient's medical chart.